Before the video starts, I gotta remind you guys, it is the last day to enter to win the 82 inch 8K Samsung TV giveaway. So if you haven't checked out that vlog yet, you haven't entered yet, you literally have less than a day. Link down below. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 215 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll start it off now, episode 215. First up today we have Chris, and I'm definitely digging the way this was shot. Really nice quality photos here that I think just make the setup look even better. First up, gotta say, loving the wallpaper and the nice wooden desktop kind of matching the speakers a bit, but regardless, it's all looking good. So for the display, it is a 35 inch Asus ROG Strix, it's the XG35VQ. If you take a look on the top of his monitor, he actually has a lamp from BenQ, it's their screen bar. It sits up top of the display and shines light down onto pretty much the desktop, revealing the peripherals. So checking it out, this is the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard with the Logitech MX Master 3. And for audio, that little thing above the mouse are the Jaybird Vista wireless earbuds. Some other things you may notice, the Elgato Stream Deck Mini, an essential, and the Amazon Echo Spot. This guy, desktop gadgets. Then going along with the rest of his gear, his speakers are the Klipsch R51M bookshelf speakers. Now, believe it or not, this entire setup is run from his Razer Blade 15. It's the 2018 model with a GTX 1070 Max Q inside. But also he has it hooked up to the Razer Core X, which is their Chroma GPU enclosure. And then inside there, he has the Asus ROG Strix RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. So he's taking advantage, you know, more so the CPU from the Razer Blade 15 powering everything and getting that extra, you know, graphical power, whether it be for video editing or gaming from the actual Asus GPU. So I'm definitely digging it. Again, I love the desktop, literally the actual wooden desktop and the desktop wallpaper. And it does seem to be under a bed, it looks like, with the uh, like the mattress holder, as you can see at the top of the picture here. But it's a good job utilizing the space and putting together a real nice setup. Now we've got Space Jam TV showing off the nice and pink and blue setup here. Pretty much, again, matching the wallpaper. That's what you guys gotta do. See the lights, it matches the colors. Primarily pink, the splash of blue, it all works out. Now for these two different monitors, his primary is an Acer Predator XB1, the 27 inch as the primary, with another 27 inch from AOC as the vertical one on the left side. Now unfortunately, Space Jam TV didn't really give us any shots of his overhead, you know, like the show off his peripherals. So in front of us is the Rode NT1 microphone, and in the background we could see the Logitech G610 keyboard and the SteelSeries Rival 710 mouse. And also for audio then, the Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro headphones. They're also then sitting on a SteelSeries Extra Large RGB Prism mouse pad. Prism, not prison. Now on the right side you can see the PC, purples and pinks and blues, even inside. So we got these matching the colors in every way and shape and form. This is the NZXT H700i case with an Intel i5-8600K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. Got eight gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM on an MSI Z370 Pro Carbon motherboard with an ASUS ROG RTX 2070 Super graphics card and a little pop figure. Across the room, I'm digging the shelf setup. Got one of those IKEA pegboards up top to organize some headphones, some controllers. Definitely like this. So okie dokie, Space Jam TV. The one big takeaway from this, again, you got some plants on each side, which is great, but I love the addition of color coding and matching those two uh, light bulbs with the pink and blue, corresponding exactly to the colors in your wallpaper. Spoiler, you're gonna wanna check out my next video. It's gonna help a lot of you out. Either tomorrow or Friday, not too sure yet. Next up, we have Sean K with the stacked monitor orientation. You guys know, always loving these. Lots of blue RGB going on in the room overall with that red strip behind the desk to get that, you know, that color pop in your face. So yeah, for those two displays, his primary on the bottom is a Dell Ultra Sharp. It's 29 inches. God. I need to be reminded to mute my laptop when I film these. But that overhead is a Prism Plus 27 inch 4K monitor. 
for the peripherals, we have the Razer Black Widow Lite keyboard, which is very underrated. I absolutely love it. With the Razer Basilisk X Hyper Speed and the Razer Vaspula V2 mouse pad with the Bose Companion 5 speakers on each side. Looking like a real clean peripheral setup here. And then over to the PC, not too much info. I know we have a Ryzen 5 1600 CPU with 16 gigs of Ripjaws V RAM on an MSI B350 Tomahawk motherboard. And for the graphics card, all I know is the GTX 1080 GPU. Uh, only real indication that I have about it is the fact that it just says right there, GeForce GTX. So pretty clueless on the brand. He did admit though that he had someone else build it for him and he has really no idea. He just uses it for, you know, gaming and editing and stuff. But it doesn't matter because altogether it's definitely a nice setup. Loving the stacked orientation. I'll never not love it. Speaking of my love for being stacked, talking about the monitors, of course, we have Brandon S. And this one definitely has a really cool Japanese type theme going on. You can see with the like the, the cherry blossoms, the temple, some of the, the artwork looking really cool. And obviously a uh, pretty cool uh, racing rig as well there. But we'll get all into that. First for his primary setup, if you will, the bottom one is the massive Samsung CRG9 is a 49 inch ultra wide and the top one is a 27 inch Acer Nitro monitor. Then on the left side, he has another Acer Predator. This one, the XP27HU, their gaming 165 hertz display. For the gear here, this is the next level racing GT Ultimate Sim with Logitech G920 racing wheel. Then for his desktop peripherals, he actually has two of each, so he can use pretty much one pair on each side. He has Logitech G915 Lightspeed keyboard with Logitech G903 wireless mouse on the PowerPlay mouse pad, so it's never running out of battery. And then for audio on this sort of Deadpool mock headphone holder, which is pretty cool, got the Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones with Logitech G935 headset. Then over to the gaming rig, not the racing rig. We have the Leon Lee 011, actually it's the same thing, you know what I mean. The Leon Lee 011 dynamic case inside the Intel i9-9900K CPU with a Corsair H150i Pro AIO. Got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM. Surprisingly not RGB, I haven't seen one of these bad boys in a while. With the Asus Hero 11 Z390 motherboard and an EVGA RTX 2080 Ti XC Ultra GPU. Not even to mention the Sony 65 inch 4K TV that he has literally right next to the setup. And as you can see, for a relatively smaller space, he's got a lot of gear, lots and lots of tech going on. So he comes in here and everything just, you know, shuts the world out. It's gaming time. Really digging the Japanese theme as well. This is some good stuff, Brandon. And now we've got April, May, Rain. I'm liking the play on words there for the name. Coming in with a crazy nice setup here, giving you guys a taste with the wide shots. You can see how clean the room is. Really, really nicely put together here with the dual monitors side by side. We'll get into it. So this is a really nice 80 inch white desk from Uplift. It's the Eco Curve Stand Up Desk. So motorized up or down. And you can see going along with everything, he has the Elgato key lights. So you can just pull down the green screen, sit in front of the desk, start gaming, start streaming. Definitely an efficient setup. So, all right, let me circle back to the monitors now. They are each an Acer Predator X34P held together with a white dual monitor desk mount. So it's gonna blend in with the desk and the walls, kind of make it seem like it's um, floating, if you will. You know, helps it blend in. And for his audio setup, you can see mounted on each side on those shelves are these speakers. Those are the Kanto YU6. And for the peripherals, we have the Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB keyboard with the Corsair M65 RGB Elite mouse in white, also the white keycaps there, on the MM350 mouse pad. And then we have the custom water-cooled PC. This is looking real nice. Wish the lights were on and shining bright, but that's all right. This is the Corsair Carbide 400C case inside the Intel i9-7900X CPU with the Asus Prime X299 Deluxe motherboard and 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM and an Asus ROG Poseidon GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. 
definitely a clean looking build to go along with the rest of the very very clean setup great job of cable management you could see just the two cables into the wall pretty much powering everything here uh, but I will say again I wish the lights were on and the setup was powered with the monitors and all that stuff so they could see in its full glory but either way it is still a bang up job 10 out of 10 all right, guys, I'll wrap it up for episode 215 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description down below for it all. All the gear and hardware you saw, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be possibly considered to be on a future episode, just check the description. Feel free to hit me up and follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.